Okay, today with Big Ideas from the Bible with Papa Chuck, we're going to revisit one of my favorites. I think all of them are my favorites because I love this book so much. Anyways, the story of this, uh, the title of this story is The Pinewood Derby, a story about truthfulness. And Papa Chuck got his um, Bible verse, his inspiration for the story from Ephesians 4.25. So you must stop telling lies, tell each other the truth. Cubby loved Frontier Cubs. He looked forward to the weekly meetings in the church gym. He had learned many new things like how to build birdhouses and make kites. He especially liked the Bible stories that Mr. Tom or Papa Chuck told the troop. Okay, boys, Mr. Tom called the Frontier Cubs Troop 77. Everyone take a seat. Cubby scrambled for a seat next to Buzzy and Fuzzy while Mr. Tom uncovered a large table filled with fancy little cars. Wow, the Cubs began to buzz with excitement. Listen up, Cubs, Mr. Tom continued. For those of you who are new to our troop, these cars are made of pine wood, and each car was carved by bare paws. Cubby's eyes grew wide with wonder. Now, Cubs, let me tell you about the pine wood derby race. Mr. Tom carefully explained. You will receive a pine wood derby kit tonight. Inside each kit, you will find a block of pine wood and four plastic wheels. Your job is to make a car that can race in the derby four weeks from tonight. Mr. Tom paused. Now it is very important to remember one thing. You must make these cars by yourself. Papa Chuck stood near Mr. Tom. He commented with a nod. This means no help from your fathers, brothers, or older friends. You're on your own and your honor. Papa Chuck then handed a Pinewood Derby kit to each cup. Good luck, boys, said Mr. Tom. Yes, and have fun building your car, added Papa Chuck. So here's Cubby getting his kit. I'm going to win the race this year. It's a cinch, Buzzy growled after the troop meeting. My dad is an engineer. He knows exactly how much my car should weigh to make it go faster than the others. Big deal, said Fuzzy. My dad has a woodworking shop in the garage. When we get finished with my car, it'll leave yours in the dust. What kind of car is your dad building for you, Cubby? Asked Buzzy. Uh, well, Cubby stuttered a bit and tried to find words to answer. He did not have a father bear living at home. Um, well, my dad has to work a lot, and I don't see him very much, said Cubby. That's too bad, said Buzzy. Oh, well, said Fuzzy. Maybe you'll have a shot at winning the race next year. Next year, asked Cubby with a frown. Well, how do you expect to win the Pinewood Derby race if your father can't help you, Fuzzy replied. I don't know, said Cubby, but Mr. Tom and Papa Chuck made it very clear that we're not supposed to let anyone help us make the cars. They were serious. I could tell by Papa Chuck's frown. Come on, Cubby and Buzzy. Do you really think every cub is carving her own car out of a block of pine wood? Get real. You really are new to the troop, aren't you? Said Fuzzy with a grisly chuckle as they left the church gym. For the next several weeks before the big race, many of the father bears and big brothers pitched in and helped build the Pinewood Derby cars for their cubs. Meanwhile, Cubby worked on his Pinewood Derby car alone. Each day after school, Cubby whittled away at the wood until the block began to take shape. He sanded the wood until his little paws were tired. Finally, the car was shaped the way Cubby wanted it. He decided to paint it bright blue. He also painted a black racing stripe down both sides of the car. Cubby finished his car by snapping on the wheels. He was so pleased, and he had done it all by himself. Oh, Cubby, cried Cubby's mom, Barry, the night of the big race. Your car is beautiful. Thanks, Mom, Cubby grinned with pride. I painted it your favorite shade of blue. Later in the church recreation room, the Cubs showed off their Pinewood Derby cars. The race will start in 15 minutes, Mr. Tom announced. Papa Chuck will help me weigh each car before the race. The Cubs made a beeline for the scales. Hey, Fuzzy, what do you think of my green machine, Buzzy asked. Wow, Buzzy, your car design is great, Fuzzy laughed. My car isn't as bright, but it moves like lightning. Cubby, your car isn't too bad, Fuzzy grinned. It should make it through the race. 
Papa Chuck smiled at Cubby as he weighed the small race car. Cubby, it looks like you did a fine job building this car. The weight is perfectly balanced too. Papa Chuck winked at Cubby. I think you have a winning blue racer. Cubby nervously placed his race car next to the other handsome cars on the track. And now let the Pinewood Derby race begin, Mr. Tom called out. The crowd cheered loud for their favorite cars. Go Buzzy! Buzzy's father and brothers yelled, yay, Fuzzy. Buzzy's family was all there to see him win. Come on, Cubby. Barry cheered for her son. Cubby was proud of his blue car, even if it looked rough next to the other cars. It may not be as great as the other cars, but at least I followed the rules. I made my car all by myself, Cubby thought. As he watched the Pinewood cars scoot down the track, Cubby remembered a story about honesty that Papa Chuck had told the Frontier Cub troops several weeks earlier. There he is watching the race. And this is the page about the Bible story Papa Chuck told him. Do you know what it is by looking at the picture? Do you remember? A man named Barnabas owned a field. He sold his property and gave the money to the church. They thanked and praised Barnabas for his generosity and thoughtfulness. At the same time, another man, Ananias, and his wife, Saphra, sold some land, and they were willing to give some of, some of their money to the church, but they did not want to give all their money away. Most of all, they wanted to be praised for doing a good deed. They wanted everybody to think they were giving everything they had, but they weren't. They wanted honesty. They wanted honor without honesty. Many believers were selling their land and giving all the money to the church, Ananias and Sapphira did not want to look less generous than their friends. What should we do? Sapphira and Ananias. Sapphira asked Ananias, our friends may think we're selfish if we don't give all our money to the church. We won't tell them how much profit we made from the sale, Ananias answered with a sly grin. Everybody will think we've given all, but let's only give a part of our earnings. We'll secretly keep some of it for ourselves. Isn't that a lie? Sapphira asked her husband. Well, I'd rather think of it as a half truth, Ananias snickered. When Ananias and Sapphira stood before the church leaders to give their gift to God, the Lord did not find their half truth funny. Why did you think you could lie and get away with it? Peter said, God knows all things. He sees the evil in your heart. The Lord is not pleased with your dishonesty. God punished Ananias and Sapphira for their lies. Both of them fell over dead. This was God's way of announcing there cannot be honor without honesty. Just then, Cubby's blue racer car shot past the other cars on the track. Cubby's eyes grew wide with excitement. Barry jumped up and down. Go, Cubby, go, she shouted. Cubby's car whizzed down the racetrack. Cubby, you won the race, Barry cheered. Yay, Cubby, you're the winner. Cubby looked at his mother and laughed. He could hardly believe he had won. Congratulations, Cubby, Mr. Tom announced. You are the official winner of this year's Frontier Cubs Pinewood Derby race. The crowd clapped loudly for Cubby. Papa Chuck handed, a, handed Cubby a large trophy. I told you that your car was perfectly balanced. I'm so proud of you, Cubby. Papa Chuck grinned. How did you build such a fast car? Buzzy whispered to Cubby. Yeah, what's your secret? Buzzy was puzzled. I don't have any secrets, guys. Cubby smiled as he proudly displayed his trophy to the cheering crowd. I just obeyed the rules and built the car by myself. Winning.